And keep this in mind, you will fail more than you will succeed. I can guarantee you that. When you're testing media, most buys will not work. It's just, it is what it is. And that's the, the best thing about this business is you really could fail 90% of the time and have a massive business. So like if you have one winning media buy for every 10 that you test, it's huge. Because what happens is that one buy, you're gonna scale. You're gonna be able to take that buy and you're gonna be able to overcome all of the spend on those other nine tests to be in a place where you have a winning placement. And now you turn the dial up. So if you think about it, right, let's say, you know, earlier we said we had a $2,000 budget. You know, someone starting out that's newer wouldn't have this type of budget, but bigger companies like mine, we might have a $20,000 test budget where we test $2,000 to 10 different placements. If we do that and nine out of the 10 fail, well then, we would have lost $18,000. Well, that doesn't mean that it's zero, by the way, okay? When they don't work, it doesn't mean that you got zero revenue back. You could get half your money back, right? You may you may generate leads and then, you know, you may only generate 500 leads versus the 1,000 that you generated earlier. And in that case, you'd only generate 15 sales. And in that case, at the $100 CPA, right? Instead of making $3,000, you make $1,500, but you paid $2,000 for that. So you only lost $500. You're gonna get money back in return from the advertiser for the sales you generate, it just may not be profitable for you. So in that scenario, let's say you did that and you lost on nine of the media buys where you lost 500 bucks a piece. All right, well, you lost $4,500. If all nine were like that, some might break even, some might bomb, some may not hit your margin. Maybe like you make 10%. That's not that as exciting for you. Things need to, you need to tweak something. Either the cost of the media needs to be less, you gotta get more clicks, right? You got to get more leads. You got to convert the sale higher. All these moving parts will determine the arbitrage, if it can work or not. The thing is, is that that one media buy that works is going to pay for all of those nine that you lost and then some. So if you think about it over a six month period, if you're working with a partner and each month you test 10 placements and you find one winner, by six months from now, you'd have six placements that are winning, that are, that are awesome, that convert sales for your for your partner, you're generating leads, and now you're getting paid out on that sale, but you're killing it. Now, I haven't even got into the fact that you own those leads when you generate those leads, and you can now make money off of that data, but that's, that's for a later date, all right? We're not gonna get into that right now. But bottom line is, the biggest value is you controlling traffic. And when you do that, you're generating leads. If you generate a thousand leads, for each of those partners. If you tested 10 partners, 1,000 leads, now you have 10,000 people in your database that signed up interested in kitchen renovation. Now, they only converted 3%, but that doesn't mean you can't remarket to those people. Yeah, you can send emails to them. You can reach out to them. They've opted in. They've given you permission to reach out to them. And you can try to get them at a later date, maybe when they're ready, to show interest in renovating their kitchen. Or perhaps they're interested in something else and that's where you can find other relevant offers that you can promote so you can monetize that list. If you can make a dollar per record on 10,000 leads, that's $10,000 a month. 50 cents, you make five grand a month. Let's say in six months from now, if you do that, and you do the one wins out of the 10, you generate 10,000 leads a month times six, right? Now you have 60,000 leads. If you're making 50 cents for every record, you're making $30,000 a month on that data internally. And that's, that's just hitting the bottom line. That's ancillary revenue. That's extra net profit because everything we're doing here is, is ultimately designed for you to be profitable on the media buy. So that's why like later on, once you can figure out what the values are on the back end, if you can monetize the data, that's where if you're doing things like this, where you're arbitraging leads, you may not even have to be profitable for it to be worth your while because you're building your database up and you're able to monetize that data at the back end. Make sense? It's a whole different story there. So I'm trying to explain to you guys, there's there's tons of upside here. There's a lot of opportunity. So step seven here is we wanna analyze and we wanna optimize. So ultimately what that means is we wanna have the ability to look at it and say, did it work? Are we gonna do it again? Or did it back out, right? We're either gonna optimize it or we're gonna kill it. Optimizing it means we're ultimately gonna scale this business. We might change some creatives, we might do some things here, or we're gonna kill it. It's not worth it. It just was so off and it's not worth it. There was no response whatsoever. It didn't work, it's not worth our time. 